And first tonight here at 6, if you are trying to restock your pantry and refrigerator, you might be able to find what you need. Not a, a big grocery store, but at your favorite restaurant. As KXAN's Eugene Cho reports, some restaurants are trying something new as they struggle to sell enough meals during this stay home order. There's no denying it. Honestly, it's very hard. With dwindled revenue. You know, we're sub 10%. This is a tough time to be in the restaurant business. Rainy Street is normally packed with people going out to bars on Thursday, Friday and Saturday nights. But with the stay home order, you can clearly see the difference. A lot of these bars are now closed and many of these parking spots now converted into food pickup spots. Both Bangers and Emmer and Rice started selling groceries, produce, milk, pasta at Bangers, even toilet paper. Whether that's one mile or, or five mile radius, uh, the goal is again to figure out what those folks need and, um, and be able to provide it for them. Interestingly enough, this is a much safer way to go in, not wait in a huge line, not see hundreds of people, um, and be able to sit in your car or have it delivered to you. We also found many other Austin area restaurants trying the same thing. The chefs tell us they're sourcing from sellers they already work with. Some are large wholesale distributors, others are local farms and bakeries. They're really dedicated to, you know, A, what we normally buy from them, and B, we're dedicated to making sure they make it through this as well. Serving the community as small markets until they can once again serve in the dining rooms. You know, honestly, just the fact that, you know, we didn't shut it down, uh, the fact that we're, we're being innovative in this time, that we're trying out new things, um, there, there's a lot of um, satisfaction in that. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. And to limit contact, many of these restaurants are doing online orders only. You call them up when you get there and then they bring the groceries right out to you. And we saw employees wearing masks and gloves at restaurants we visited today. One was also checking the workers' temperatures.